Hello and welcome to Tech Plot Chorus. This video will go over how to load data into Tech Plot Chorus via a CSV file. First, let's take a look at the anatomy of an ideal CSV file in Excel. The first header row is variable name. The second row is variable type of which possible keywords are independent, dependent, aux file, and other. The rest of the rows will be your data, where strings or numbers can be passed. As for aux files, the file path is supplied and must be a relative path to where the CSV is loaded from, which becomes the root path. Using relative paths allows for sharing between multiple operating systems. These CSV files can be easily built with scripting languages or exported at the end of CFD runs. This one was built with Python in a folder with images and data files. Let's now load this file into Chorus. There are two ways to import CSV files. You can either open CSV project, which will import the CSV automatically, or you can use the file import wizard from create project. Today, choose to import it automatically. Looking at the left sidebar with the filters, notice that there are 74 cases. At this point, any chorus functions can be used, including image view, plotting, and diving into TechPlot 360 EX. Now let's say you've done some things in this project while your CFD solver has run more cases that you want to append. Your CSV file has also been updated accordingly following the rules described earlier. These new cases can either be in a fresh file or appended to the original file. Your new runs have been appended to the original file which means you will want to append the data into the existing course project. To do this, go to Project, Append Data, Delimited Text Reader. Then click Browse to choose the CSV file that you want to append. Then Next. The root folder is the same, so just click Next. This page has all of the aux files that you will want to link to the cases and ensure that all the checks are checked. This last page is showing which variables will be appended. You cannot choose specific variables because they have already been loaded into Chorus. Note the independent and dependent variable types have been selected for you due to the second header row in the CSV file. Finally, a window pops up saying there are duplicate cases. Choose Modify the existing cases, which will add non-duplicate incoming cases as new cases. At this point, there are 99 total cases up from the original 74. This concludes the tutorial on how to load your CSV file into TechPlot Chorus. You can download a free trial on our website, and thank you for watching.